What's up guys? What's going on? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to the NFL's Top 100 Players of 2021 episode. This is episode number 20. We're at number 81 on the list. His name is none other than Chris Godwin. And he plays for the Bucks and he plays wide receiver and he won a Super Bowl last year. And to be honest, throughout the year, getting more and more, you know, interested in the Bucks and, and what you know, what sort of team uh, Tom Brady was, was, you know, surrounding himself with, the wide receiver carousel became more and more interesting to me because it not only included Chris Godwin, it also included Mike Evans, it also included Antonio Brown, and it also included Scotty Miller, plus more, of course. So, guys, sit back, relax. We have a video on our hands today. And uh, it's one of the first wide receivers we've seen on the list, so it's always fun to see a wide receiver, if not a running back, if not a tight end, if not a quarterback, and the list goes on. So, before we get into it, a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor, Major Key Physiques. What's up guys? Thank you first and foremost for clicking on this video. Secondly, it's brought to you by none other than Major Key Physiques. And I'm wearing some right now. Major Key Physiques is a New Zealand based bodybuilding and fitness brand. They have a complete range covering men's, women's and accessories. Everything is sized from small to triple XL. International shipping is always available. The products have all been designed with both aesthetics and quality at the forefront. With over a thousand happy customers and shipping worldwide, there's no reason why you shouldn't check them out. Head down into the description box below, check out the link www.majorkeyphysics.com. Use code JACOB20 for 20% off and come and join the team. Thanks for listening and enjoy the video. Peace out. Right then. Chris Godwin in all of his glory. Let's go. Chris Godwin, like he's one of the most unselfish guys I ever met. Something as simple as just giving his jersey away to Brady. I feel like that goes a long way, just him showing respect, but also knowing that he they needed Tom Brady this season to get to where they wanted to get. Tell you what, I didn't even remember that, but it just goes back to what I said before about Tom Brady building this team around him, right? Or maybe the team opening up a spot so that Tom Brady can be brought in comfortably so that he can then build the team around. Look, that's football for you. They won a goddamn Super Bowl. Get to. Bucks are the Super Bowl champs. I thought he was up there. Dropped a few spots. I don't think he'd be worried. He throws the deep ball downfield toward Godwin. He makes a dive. Yeah. Oh, man. Chris is the huge piece of the offense, man. He's the guy who, who does everything. That's definitely one guy everyone, um, you know. Not you again. Talks about, or should be talking about. You know how you just play ping pong? And you're just knocking the ball all around. That's him when he catches the ball, man. You go look at all of, a lot of his catches. We caught. Okay, I was totally and utterly confused just then. I thought that was Leonard Fournette. I thought there's no way in hell that person talking in the background could not be playoff Lenny. But lo and behold, he's got a clone. Call him Mr. Yet. Like all he do is get yards out the catch. Mr. Yet. Mr. Yet is back on the top 100. Chris Godwin remains among the league's elite. Caught ball. Godwin makes the catch. Doesn't drop many, does he? And with that in mind, let's look up his stats. 25 years of age, 6 foot 1, 210 pounds, pick number 84 in the third round of the 2017 draft. He's a one-team man so far with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Runs a 4-4-2 40-yard dash, 36-inch vertical jump, 10 foot 6 on the broad jump, 19 reps on the bench. A 20-yard shuttle in 4 seconds, a 3-cone drill in 7 seconds. This guy is an athlete. He's an athlete who's now worth an extra $15.9 million. Um, March this year, the Buccaneers placed the franchise tag on Godwin, which he signed on March 18th. Now, what exactly is the franchise tag? Let me look that up again. The franchise tag is designation a team may apply to a player scheduled to become an unrestricted free agent. The tag binds the player to the team for one year if certain conditions are met. So the franchise tag is just for one year. That makes more sense. 
So $15.9 million, the Bucks have bought, basically, Chris Godwin's services for another year. So when you break down the name of franchise tag, they're tagging a player with that franchise. So they can't go anywhere, even though they were meant to be unrestricted, which they're not because they are restricted to this particular team. Why don't they just call it why don't they just call it an extra extra year on the contract? I don't know. Anyway, last year, the year we're focusing on, he only had twelve games in the regular season. Now why was that? Suffered a fracture to his left index finger. Underwent surgery two days later and would miss the next game. Okay, okay, so he uh in week three he suffered a hamstring injury, missed two games. Week eight, he suffered a fracture to his left index finger and missed another game. Oh my God. Okay, no, shit. <laughs> Let's go back to week number one. What a what a turbulent season. Tumultuous, is that the word? Up and down? What a roller coaster ride. Listen to this. First of all, start of the 2020 season, he gives up his jersey number to none other than Tom Brady. In week number one, he had a great game, but suffered a concussion, which forced him to exit and miss the following week. That's one game missed. In week three, returns, injures his hamstring, misses the next two games. That's three total. In week number eight, fractured his left index finger, underwent surgery two days later, and would miss the next game. That's four. So four games missed through injury. Total of 12, 840 yards, longest run of 47, and seven receiving touchdowns. One fumble, no rushes. Postseason, this is where it gets really interesting. Four games, four games started. 16 receptions for 232 yards at an average of 14.5 per reception. A longest run of 52 yards and one touchdown. One rushing attempt for six yards. And uh, look, there is one more stat that they could well include but don't, and that is Super Bowl wins. And in this case, there would be one. What a season. What a season. And to come out on top like that, when it matters, in the postseason, all four games played, all four games started. Way to go, man, way to go. Godwin makes the catch, fire the cannons. Mm. Is he in here? I'm going to call that targeting. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. When we played Detroit, I had like a, a dive and like one handed catch. Toward the end zone. His catch. It's caught ball. Touchdown, Chris Godwin. What a great grab. I actually didn't know like how clean it was until like after the fact. Like, I caught it, popped up, and like I just hear Mike going, Oh my goodness. And I was like, I wonder why he's so hyped. And then like I see the replay, I'm like, Aha, I kid it. <laughs> I remember when we were preparing for the Bucks. like, Chris's game is he can line up anywhere and he can really get the job done. He can beat you deep. He can beat you in intermediate routes. There's not any one thing that we can almost, like, tip our hat on that will give us away, like, you know, what he's doing. Great job. He's got the post. Where are you going? You're just going straight, man. He just lets this one go, and Godwin double covers, able to lay out and get it. Not a single move left or right. That was literally straight. Look at this. Straight. Didn't even have to move. Well, he did kind of fade to the right, but still. Godwin double covered, able to lay out and get it. When his number called, he always stepped up to the plate. He did it against Green Bay. Big catch over the middle. Throws the deep ball downfield. He's got a receiver in the area. It's Godwin. He makes it. It's a huge catch. What a remarkable grab. He just went over the guys as well. You know, to be I honest, I, I don't know if I've seen him drop a pass. And that was the stat that I really wanted to see was completions. Well, actually, I guess the incompleted pass you could probably blame more so on your quarterback. But I guess the number that we are focusing on is fumbles. And he had one. One total. He got it, but it be huge catches, so man, he really missed a clutch for us. Tough catch. It was a tough throw into, like, double coverage, and Chris came down with the ball. That was a big one. You know, NFC Championship game, and, like, it's a big moment. I saw he was playing with, like, a broken finger or whatever. Like, that's the heart of a champion. That's the heart of a guy who wants to win. 
Yeah, he fractured his left index finger in week number eight against the Raiders. I caught it. I'm kind right of like there. And I'm like, right, I don't know if I can get both feet down. But I, I know I can get, at least get this hand down. If I get one foot, one hand, it's a touchdown. And so I'm like, bet. Put your hand down. And it's like open. So it went like this. I'm just kind of bent. And I broke my finger. But scored a touchdown. I don't think I've ever seen... I don't think I've ever seen a hand be put down to score a touchdown with one foot. One foot, one hand, like, on purpose. I think that's the first time I've seen that. And I've got to say, to see the man smiling about it at the end of the day, yeah, he might have broken his finger. He still scored a touchdown. So, that's all that matters. What do we call that? It's not Tony Toe Tap. I'm going to call that finger rub, finger drag, finger drag. Tony Toe Tap. I'm going to call this... Got it. The Godwin ground grab. The messed up thing too is that I actually end up getting both feet in. Actually, so I don't I mind that. To put my hand down, I broke my finger for no reason. <laughs> it's all good, mate. Yeah, we'll call that the Godwin ground grab. And uh, well, as you can see, we're about to hear from the the man himself, the man, the myth, the legend, DK Metcalf, in his third year, balling out. He's an absolute behemoth out there. But anyway. This video ain't about DK Metcalf, it's actually about Chris Godwin and what a video it was. I really enjoyed that one. The Bucks will be a team to beat this year and a team for me to watch. I'm really interested in them. I do love their offense. They have a fairly decent defense. Do I know all the names? Not even close. But as far as the offensive side of the ball, I'm really enjoying it. I can't wait to see them play this year. So guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. We will be back with Adam Thielen in just a moment. Peace out. Yeah.